Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got the next update for my Panda palette project. As you guys probably know, I'm working on two palettes at the moment. One of them is my last year's palette. This is the Too Faced um, Enchanted Glamourland one. And I'm also working on the Too Faced Glamour To Go palette for this year. Um, yeah, let's start. First of all, last year's palettes. I'm gonna show you what this looked like last month, because I know I forgot last month. I wasn't really trying to work on much in here. I've just been trying to make a little bit more progress on stiletto in particular. And now this is where we are right now. I hope you can see that there is a little bit more progress in stiletto because I've really been trying. I've been using it in my other V and everything. So I hope that you can see a difference. I don't really see too much of a difference, but I haven't really compared them right next to each other. So maybe you guys can. Now for the other three um, colors, I can be relatively short. I've used this gold one maybe once, and this one is called George and Wheezy, so there is not too much of a difference here. Uh, Boy Toy, same thing. I'm wearing it right now, because um, it's gonna be one of my goals for next month, so I just wanted to try it out before I set myself to setting that goal. Um, so that one, I haven't used it too much, but hopefully by next time you will see a whole lot more progress on that one. And then you can barely see that there is something here because it's just as shiny as the pants itself. This is, what was the color again? Ooh and ah. And ooh and ah, I have not used this month and I don't think I will be using it very much over the next month either. I just want to get some other pants out of the way first. Um, I have decided that I kind of want to try and get this one out of the way though. Um, focus on this one maybe a little bit more than on my um, smaller one just because this is so big there isn't that much left in it anymore so if I just kind of work on these colors a little bit more and just get them gone I just don't have to work with two palettes anymore one of them being a very big palette so yeah that is that one then the second one again let's take a quick look at what this looked like last month and then this is where we are now. So there are some differences that you can clearly see. And one of them is I hit pen in the green color over here, which I'm really, really happy about. Um, so yeah, it's only a little bit, but there is a really significant dip kind of going all over here, um, which you can see a little bit better in the close up. And I'm just really happy that I managed to hit pen because it was such a close call. I thought I would hit it earlier, but I didn't. Um, not too big of a fan of this color still it does have some chunky I'm gonna hold it here so you guys can actually see my face um, it has some chunky glitters in it and even if I try to tap off my brush um, there will still be like one or two glitters that end up somewhere on my face I even had my boss tell me that I had glitter on my face one day um, yeah that's that's just how we roll right so yeah that not a big fan I don't really like it wet either because it's just a little bit too much but yeah Anyway, um, then we have the pink color and the pink color I have been wearing as my brow bone highlight. In a close up, you can clearly see that I'm starting to hit some side pan on that one as well. So that is pretty exciting. Um, I'm thinking probably like two more updates or so and I can have that one done. So that is pretty exciting. Um, have not really used this taupey shade very much, like maybe once or twice, but that's about it. I normally use this when I kind of reapply my makeup um, halfway through the day after I've been to the gym during lunchtime. So that's not moving too much yet. Um, and the same goes for this gold. I do use it sometimes after I've been going to the gym during lunchtime. But apart from that, I'm kind of saving this because I know I can wear this really easily and I just want to save it for later in the year, kind of work on the harder colors first. Then we've got the black shade right here, which also I'm at the moment only using um, after I went to the gym during lunchtime because I've got that other black that I just really want to get out first. The blue I have been using quite a bit. I've basically been using it almost every day because I've been combining that with the green. And you can barely see that I've used it. There is a teeny tiniest bit of a dip. You can see that there has been some usage on it, but um, yeah, it's not great usage yet. I'm thinking I can probably incorporate this still in a next month's look, I guess, as well. So hopefully there will be a proper dip by then. The white shade I've been using as my inner corner highlights for the whole month. And I've made a little bit more of a dip, but nothing major still. Um, 
but yeah we're just gonna keep going <laughs> And then the brown shade is the other one that has a clear difference, in my opinion. Uh, I hit side pan, kind of the whole corner is gone now, which is really exciting. Um, I hope if I can work, keep working like that, I can kind of finish it off within three, maybe four months. Um, but I'm making nice progress. It's, it's relatively powdery as well, but it works really nice in my crease. I like using it and uh, yeah, I like seeing a little bit more pan on that one. So those are all the colors in this palette. Now, like I said, I already kind of told you one of my goals um, and that is to work on boy toy mostly this month. Um, so I'm hoping that I can finish off about half of what's left in here. Don't know if that's a little bit too much of a goal, but I'm kind of hoping that over the next two months I can have this one finished. So that's what we're gonna be working on. And then, um, I'm gonna keep working on stiletto as well, but I don't think you will see too big of a difference in that. Then for this palette, I wanna try and hit pan on the white shade. It was kind of a undercover goal, I guess, <laughs> last time, but I'm hoping that I can actually get it done this time. And I'm hoping I can create a little bit more of an actual dip in the bluish shade as well. So those are three goals that I have at the moment. For the rest, I'm just gonna keep working on the shades, probably try and hit side pan more towards the top here um, in the brown shade but we'll see how far I can get with that and yeah that is it that is all for my panda palette right now definitely don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this specific project or any other project pans because I'm doing quite a few at the moment a bit of a little bit more could I could chew at the moment maybe but it's still fun so hope you guys uh, like this video and I hope to see you in one of my next one bye bye